lot of emphasis on this rather than just going out and making a really cool idea, you know, mm -hmm. that I had in the bedroom, whatever. I'm trying to think of like really good examples of something that kind of hit big but wasn't really that polished at all. Does anybody have anything in mind? I guess not. <laughs> I mean, Yeah, definitely. <coughs> right. We and tried to play. We tried to play it brave with those original graphics, though. It would have not really worked. Uh, it did. I actually, I actually did play brave with those graphics, and it, it still, like, it, you know, it obviously didn't do everything that David Hellman brought to it. But um, so it would have been as popular, at least. Oh, definitely. No, no. I don't think it would have made it past like the Game Maker site or something. But. Uh, <laughs> I think we've completely lost track of the original question. <laughs> um, I was asking, like, have we lost sight of why we want to make a different game? Do you think you know, we need more emphasis or encouragement for people to seek more games from? Because you know, we can't be using a lot of the same mechanics for many games that we've developed on our 23 years ago. Yeah, I think it's just who do we define as we. I mean, I think definitely there's, there's this audience of us here and a lot of people. Um, I think it really comes down to just like training a wider audience to um, like appreciate smaller parts of a game than you know, how many levels, how many guns. Um, it's it's trying to engage an audience in like thematics rather than you know simple quantifiable things. And that's, you know, for as much as I love Uncharted, that's one of the things that really bothered me about it is like, you know, here's a guy who's uh, devoted his life to like antiquity and the only way that he can interact with the world is by shooting at something, like that really kind of bothered me. I think if we don't have any more questions, we may, um, one more call, Adam. Uh, you can show it, right? Yes. <laughs> you don't have to answer that way. Oh, no, no, I, did, I said yes, absolutely. I don't want to do that. So much of it is, is just that spirit, yeah. Um, even within music, uh, um, I feel like, you know, Merge and Matador, like, while they are technically like indie, have definitely grown to such a huge size that it's not the same as just a kid in his living room putting out and stuff anymore, but it's still it's still indie, and I would probably say that most of the bands on there are still indie. Like, yeah, it's, it's definitely a mindset more more than any like technicality of like monetary.